Welcome back to another episode of Cracked Housing Fab. Today we are going to build our drift trikes we've talked about to celebrate our 5,000 subscribers with these sweet bikes we have here. So we're pretty excited about that. Yep, and stay tuned, we got some exciting news for you guys right after the intro. Hey buddy. Hey. I got some exciting news. What's that? So we uh, partnered up with Go Power Sports. Check out this cool shirt. Go Power Sports partnered up with us to do the drift trike build. So we got some stuff and some boxes over here we're gonna show you guys and we're super excited to work with Go Power Sports and let's get to work. All right guys, so we got everything unpacked out of the boxes. Um, something that probably the coolest part of this is the Tillotson 212 uh, 10 horsepower engine that we're gonna be using for both of the drift trikes. Um, I'm thoroughly convinced that mine's gonna be way better and way faster than Kurt's. No way. So, no, no. there's that. Not <laughs> <laughs> we just gotta get that out of the way right from the beginning. All right, we'll see. All right. Um, <laughs> So obviously all this stuff down here is all going to be put onto the drift trikes. We're going to talk about this stuff as we go and as we put it on the on the trike. I mean, it's just too much to, uh, to explain right off the bat. But uh, you know, we got twist throttle, shiftable clutches, rockets, cables. Um, all this stuff is available on Go Power Sports website. And we're going to put the links to the to in the description to the parts as we use them. Um, so, oh, yeah. you know, we'll kind of just as we go, we'll throw the uh, links in there. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited, excited. Yeah, to get started and start building. And we're both gonna build our own trikes. Uh, so we'll kind of see, see who turns out the best, but. Yeah, well, obviously mine, but yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I guess we get to work now. Yeah, let's do it. All right, buddy, it's time to get started on our build. I'm already started. Yeah, well, yeah. what are you doing? I'm just watching you to see what you're going to do wrong. What am I going to do wrong? <laughs> I think I'm going to keep mine pretty simple. Yep. And um, better than yours. So that's my goal. That's my vision is just better than yours. Right. So oh, I, heard, I get it, you know. Um, hey, look at that sweet shirt. Go Power Sports? Heck yeah. Dude, these are really cool. That shirt is awesome. I got mine on too. And for anybody wondering, the random person in our video that you seen a second ago in the time lapse, that's Kurt's cousin, cousin Ethan. He's here to hang out, help with uh, some camera work. So say hi to everybody. Hi. <laughs> All right, I guess we get to work. Hey, look, I'm started, see? Yeah, you started something, so. <laughs> well, I'm excited we're starting with the exact same stuff. The same bikes, which they're hard to find bikes right now. For yeah, it's crazy. We both got the same bike, steel frame, so we can cut them up and weld to them and same engines yep so we'll same see. parts not the same skill level though that's well thing. yeah i know yours is way better than mine but you know what i realized what? since we started this channel i feel like we start with nice stuff and we make way cooler stuff it's true some people <laughs> may call us crazy yeah but i mean who buys i think, a, I think a brand new bike would rather be a drip trike than a bike yeah exactly and what about those teal sidewalls oh it's like from what the 40s yeah 50s? well i mean retro is cool right now and i mean we all know haters are gonna hate anyways so and not to point out the obvious those are women's bikes <laughs> yeah <laughs> the main reason being the upper bar is lower so it'll be easier to use what we're using it for yeah so that way it'll yeah when it comes up yeah. and yeah <laughs> or so when you wear your dress it right yeah you know. exactly that too <laughs>
All right, guys, so on mine, I, I'm gonna use this inch and a quarter square tubing and I wanna keep my frame very simple. So I'm going to come back here just far enough to get past the engine to mount the engine. Come up here, I'm gonna notch this, bend this pipe into here and then duplicate it, it'll come to here and then back to the plate. So I'm gonna kind of create a one piece, well, a two piece frame, weld a plate here and this is where the bicycle is gonna weld into it. So I think with this thicker wall tubing, I won't need a lot of braces and stuff because I want to keep it light and just slim line. Um, I think Sean's going to be welding on all kinds of steel. Right. Like a train makes... bridge over there, but <laughs> oh, it's a tank, a tank. But uh, I, well, we got these cool little seats, um, just nice little bucket seats to use for now or forever. But but I kind of like my design. The motor is behind the axle. I'm going to keep everything super tight because I don't want it super long. So what do you think, Ethan? Is it looking good? It's looking really good. Awesome. So I'm going to start cutting up metal and jacking my frame up. I'm using a Cadillac seat to keep the weight down. <laughs> a Cadillac seat? Yep. Take a look at what he's doing over there. You can't even <laughs> can't even see what he's doing. That's right. Oh, maybe I should bolt my bearings together. Yeah. <laughs> You're talking junk over there. Yours is going to fall apart as soon as you start the engine. Listen, the frame's more important. <laughs> Electrons. Say it with me, kids. Electrons. Mine's coming along pretty good here. I have my main frame all tacked up. I have the bearing mounts all tacked on. Um, so this is kind of laid out. There's the seat. I'm trying to keep it super tight. So now is the fun part. Come over here, Ethan. I am going to cut up the bike. So perfectly placed bike. <laughs> I'm gonna grab the Sawzall, snip it here, snip it down there, and kind of start laying it out. So let's see how that goes. I guess I gotta plug it in first. Oh, yeah. This one got me a little bit started here. Yeah, I got the saw for you. All right. Goodbye, bike. <laughs> it feels so wrong, but so good at the same time. <laughs> this one's gonna be tricky. Oh, yeah, because I need to make sure I get as much as I can. Don't scratch it. All right, Just now. what I've always wanted. A unicycle. <laughs> <laughs> I give you five hours if you can ride that. Oh, well, maybe once. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a unicycle. Look at this. Uh, Oh, look at that nice bike. That's the one. Huh? It was fun till. Hey, don't mock up my bike. <laughs> Here, let me do it how you're going to do it. Like this. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Dirt strip trike's done. There we go. All day. <laughs> no. No, no, no. 
I think this is gonna be pretty sweet. Handlebars are kind of high. You have to do some adjustments there. Some adjust the kits. Yeah. <laughs> this will be fun to <laughs> get speared. But I like that angle. It's kind of high though. Yeah. So we may have to flip the handlebars down. If I flip them upside down, that's true. Might they'll be, be on better. both sides yeah. of uh, down here. I think they would flip just fine. Yeah, you won't even get dirty. It's got a fender on it. I know that's custom, man. Of course, this will be up in here a little bit. Yeah. Cool. I'm gonna kind of lay this out. See what happens. guys so I'm getting my frame wall uh, kind of laid out um, obviously Kurt's a little bit further along than I am but I took a few extra minutes I kind of wanted to do some angles so work that out now I'm ready to kind of tack this in place tack the motor plate in place and have some pieces coming up front to get basically to get a spot to weld the bicycle frame to so that's kind of where I'm at I'm um, pretty excited with how it's turning out so far but we'll see it doesn't break well, look at that. Dude, yours is looking pretty sweet. Well, I, I think I've got a good angle on it. Yeah, there's a cool rake to it. Let us know in the comments what you think, guys. Yeah, I like your design. All the different angles. It's taking well, more time, but... Yeah, it's taking it's me cool. a few extra minutes, but... No, that looks good. And the curve ran the weld out of wire, so we got to change that really quick. Uh, yeah, <laughs> my fault. <laughs> All right, guys, so I got my main frame welded up here, axle in place. It's looking pretty sweet. Now it's time to mount the motor. I'm thinking I'm going to use these solid metal bars to go across. It's not going to work. One will go there. Yes, it will. One will go there. I just weld these in here, cut them to the width. Should be light, strong. We got these nice heavy duty plates from Go Power Sports. We'll throw the uh, link to these down in the description below, but. They're really substantial. Oh, yeah. should, those will definitely hold that motor. And I like how it's wider to protect the other part of the motor. Yeah. Some of the other ones I've seen is just big enough for the mounting pattern. So it's nice that they did the extra width on that. I agree. So yeah. Those are good. It, that, that thing is definitely solid. And the fact that that makes 10 horsepower <laughs> is awesome. Yeah, that's going to so be So it nice. should make these move pretty good. So hopefully. Yeah. That's the plan. Go Power Sports. Check them out, guys. They're awesome dudes over there, and we're excited to work with them, for sure. All right, guys, I'm to the point now. You want to show them the frame a little bit, Ethan? So I have the front pieces coming up and I'm ready to cut the bike now. So I get to, just like Kurt, I get to ruin a perfectly good bike. Ooh. There we go, now we have two good wraps of a bike. All right, guys, to give you a little bit of update, I made some decent amount of progress on mine. Take the seat off here. That didn't get mounted yet. But I have the frame put together. Um, this welded to the frame. I actually have to sort this out. This needs to be figured out yet. I might be use a piece of pipe, come down, straight down. Um, but we've got some of the Go Power Sports axle pieces put in here. So that way we can kind of figure out where everything's going to end up. And uh, it's looking pretty freaking awesome. What do you got going on over here, buddy? Well, I've got my rear engine mounted. You got the little bracket in the back. I'll probably add another flat stock piece to kind of square all this off. But I cut my corners. I have my corners out here. And I'm like, oh, it'll look better if I 45 it. So same thing here. Our frames are a little different. I kind of did something different up there. 
versus what you did. And I think mine's, you know, my steering's leaning back a little more. Yeah, than you have a little bit more of a rake than I do. But same thing on mine, the Go Power Sports axle, the brake and stuff. I'm gonna mount the brake over here with some brackets. That's gonna be kind of nice having a disc brake. And uh, pretty exciting. I can't wait to fire up these engines we got. Yeah, we got the 212 Tillotsons. Mm -hmm. Pretty exciting. Yeah, and all these parts uh, you can find on the Go Power, Power Sports website. We'll put the links in the description below. So, dude, I'm loving these things. Yeah. They're turning it, out very cool. Dude, we've been wanting to build these for a while now. We've talked about it. and <laughs> We've um, talked about them for like a month. Yeah. So it's kind of fun. We got a lot done today for one day. Yeah. We had my cousin helping film, so we were able to do more work. So uh, it's pretty late, so he had to go home, but... But yeah, it's super exciting. We tried to find used bikes, but like Marketplace, it's just a pain in the butt. Like nobody responds to your ad and or to their want, ad. Yeah, people wanted more money for used bikes than new bikes. Yeah. I mean, it kind of stinks. Well, we'll use parts off. We're not going to waste any of it. Yeah, no, well, I mean, well, that's good metal. Some people, I want the seat and, you know, we got, you know, the rear tires for backups. Yep. So, you know, if we eat a curb and blow off the tire. <laughs> exactly. But, uh, I even like the fenders on the front of these. Yeah, no, the fenders look cool. It's got a, it's got a good look. But overall, it's good. We're still waiting on the tires and wheels to line them up. But they should be approximately 10 inches, so we kind of knew the height. Yeah. So. No, they're turning out sweet. I like them. I can't wait to rip them. All right, guys, we'll end this one here. Um, we want to give a special thanks to Ghost po Go Power Sports for supplying the parts for these builds. Um, they're pretty awesome. Oh yeah. We're definitely excited about it. And uh, make sure and support companies that support Cracked Housing Fab. We really appreciate it, guys. So head over to their website, check it out if you're into go-karts, drift trikes. Mini bikes. Mini bikes. They have a lot of all that cool stuff. This awesome shirt. And if you're a kid <laughs> of the 90s, you know the reference of what video game this is oh, too. Yeah. And so. guys, if you like our channel, make sure you subscribe. Uh, We've had a lot of new subscribers in the last month, so that's pretty exciting. Uh, head on over to our Instagram and Facebook, check them out. We upload some cool stuff over there. Heck yeah. All right, guys. Well, we'll end it here. We'll be back to show you the finished product of the, of the drift trikes. Thanks for watching Crack Housing Fab.